Greetings flashlight seekers. We have a flashlight comparison today from the folks at Claris. And we have two of their lights which are very similar, which is why we're taking a look at them together. All right, we have the ST2C, which is 820 lumens, and we also have Oh my gosh, where did the light go? It's not in the package. Okay, we also have the, enough humor, we also have the ST11, which goes to 900 lumens. They both run off the standard lithium-ion batteries, either 118650, like this, or two of the either CR123 disposables, or its rechargeable cousin, the 16340. So you'll need either two of these or one of these lithium-ion batteries. Okay, the lights are very similar. We have an ST2C, which is already unpackaged here. They are, it is just over, about, about five and a quarter inches long. Its brother here, the ST11, is just a hair taller. Mm, perhaps you can't see that, but it's just a hair taller, and obviously you have a much thicker bezel. Now, they both use the Cree XM L2 LED. What you will find is, is that on the ST2C, the beam is wider than it is on the ST11. This beam is a little more focused and in outside testing it'll actually get you a little further in distance it's you can't really notice I mean you notice the brightness outside but it's basically I mean it is brighter but a difference of 80 lumens really isn't that noticeable but this beam is a little more focused so it does have the ability to travel a little bit farther all right, we've got uh, batteries in both, and how you operate these lights, and they are both absolutely identical, is they have the side switch and the rear clicky switch. So what you'll do is you can click the clicky switch, well you have to to turn it on anyway, and with the side switch here, what you do is, it doesn't matter what mode you're in, but this is the way you select the modes. You have to hold it for a second while it changes the mode. So if I click it, it'll go down. If I click it again, it'll go down. So there's the moonlight mode, which is about 0 0.1 lumens. Okay, I'll click it again and hold it, and I've got full brightness at uh, 820 lumens. Click it again, and you go down to, uh, uh, let's see, what's the next level down? Okay, you've got uh, 820, 240, 17, and 1. And then you also have strobe and SOS. So, you get the idea about the clicking and the holding, okay? So here's the beam over here. And this is a very wide beam. This is uh, pretty wide for an XM L beam. It's uh, almost like a, a nice shot of the moon. So it is a very nice looking clean white beam. Now, as, as again, as I say, if I click it, it just uh, hold it, click it and hold it, it just keeps going down to the other levels. Now, from whatever level I'm in, I can double click it and I'll get strobe. Doesn't matter what mode I'm in, I'll double click it, I'll be in strobe, and it's also a variable strobe. If I hold it, while it's in strobe, I get SOS. And while you're in either of these modes, all you do is click it again, and you're back to where you started from. Okay, back to the first mode, which in this case was, uh, oh, in this case, which is off. Okay. Um, that's another thing about the side switch. Here, I'll do this. Okay, it's on. Now, you can either turn it off by clicking the base, obviously, thusly, or you can turn it off by clicking the side switch. There, it's off. But it's in standby mode. So the next time you want it on, click it and hold it again, and there it is. It's back on again. So for short-term use, bursts of use and so forth for three or f you know a few minutes here and there, this is great to use the side switch. I might not want to use that all the time because it might switch on in your pocket or your bag when you're not aware of it. 
it might brush up against something and turn on. But I mean, the one thing is, though, that's the purpose of having to hold it for a second. So it does have to be pushed for a moment in order to be turned on. So that's one positive note about that. Okay, um, so here is the uh, beam, as I said, with the uh, ST2C. Let's um, just uh, have a look here at the ST11. I believe this is high mode. Yes, it is. And if you can tell here, this is a narrower, more focused beam. Not quite as wide as the other one. Let's see, were we in high over here? Hold on one second. Yeah, okay. So there we are in high on the ST2, and here we are in high on the ST11. You can see the beam over there is a little bit more focused. This one is rather round. Well, it is round. They're all round, but it's, it's wider is what I'm trying to say. So there you have the more focused beam of the ST11. There are two very nice lights, as I say. So there you, there you go. There's your basic demonstration of both. They both have the um, identical um, interface on them. Absolutely the same. They look the same, except for being a little smaller, a little wider. But they both operate in the same identical way. And uh, outside you will get uh, a further beam with the ST11 than you will the ST2C. This one won't go quite as far in the dark at night. Uh, obviously in the dark, but it won't go quite as far as the ST11. So, there you have it. The packaging is nice. Comes with a couple of nice little accessories uh, buried down there in the bottom. You know, your basic... Uh, uh, basic extra cap and uh, O-rings, etc. You can go to lightsandgear.com. The link is below where you can take a look at these lights and a whole lot more. You'll see the links there in which to purchase these lights and others. And you'll learn about batteries and chargers and all that good stuff at lightsandgear.com. As we strobe on out, we'll just say to give that a click and uh, have a good time. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.